Hey there, welcome back to GeoVoices. Today, we are diving deep into the fascinating world of fossils. Get ready to have your mind blown as we uncover the shocking truth about how fossils really form. Fossils have always captured the human imagination, serving as a tangible connection to life that existed millions of years ago. But have you ever thought about how these ancient remnants are created? The common belief is that it happens straightforwardly. Something dies, gets buried, and voila, it becomes a fossil. But the reality is far more complex and intriguing than you might imagine. So, let's address the elephant in the room, the misconceptions and mysteries surrounding the formation of fossils. It's not just about a bone getting buried and turning into a fossil overnight. There's a lot more going on beneath the surface. First, let's understand what a fossil is. A fossil refers to any remains or traces of past life that are preserved in the rock record. These can include bones, shells, leaves, imprints, or even traces of activities like footprints. The process that turns organic remains into fossils is called fossilization, and it's a journey that involves sediment, pressure, and, most importantly, time. When a living organism, such as a plant or animal, dies, the conditions need to be just right for it to become a fossil. Typically, the organism must be quickly buried by sediment. This quick burial is crucial as it protects the remains from scavengers, decay, and environmental elements. The sediment acts like a protective blanket, shielding the remains from processes that would otherwise destroy them. Over time, layers of sediment accumulate over the buried remains. As these layers build up, the weight increases, creating pressure. This pressure, combined with the presence of mineral-rich water percolating through the sediment, helps in the process of permineralization. During permineralization, the organic material of the remains is gradually replaced with minerals. This transformation turns what was once living tissue into rock, preserving the original structure in stone. But here comes the moment you've been waiting for, the climax. Brace yourself as we reveal the surprising truth about how fossils really form. Fossils are not just remnants of the past. They are snapshots of ancient life preserved in stone. The process can take thousands to millions of years, depending on environmental conditions. Fossilization is rare because it requires specific conditions, which is why finding fossils is always an exciting discovery for paleontologists. There are several types of fossilization processes each adding its own twist to the preservation of ancient life. One of these is carbonization, where only the carbon residue of the organism remains after it is subjected to heat and pressure. This often results in a detailed impression of the organism, such as leaves or soft-bodied animals. Another fascinating process is amber preservation. Here, organisms like insects are trapped in tree resin, which hardens and becomes amber over millions of years. This type of fossilization can preserve even the most delicate structures in exquisite detail. We also have the process of recrystallization, where the original skeletal compounds are transformed into more stable minerals without changing the external shape. This often happens with shells and corals. Lastly, there is the process of cast and mold formation. When an organism is buried, it can leave an impression on the sediment. If the organism decomposes, it leaves behind a mold. If this mold gets filled with other minerals, it forms a cast, which is a replica of the original organism. As we wrap up, let's take a moment to recap the key points we've discussed. Fossilization is a complex and dynamic process that continues to baffle scientists and enthusiasts alike. It's a reminder of the incredible wonders that nature has to offer. Fossils are not just stones. They are the preserved stories of ancient worlds, offering us a glimpse into the life that once roamed the earth. They teach us about evolution, past climates, and the history of our planet. The study of fossils, known as paleontology, continues to uncover new and exciting information about our past. Before you go, don't forget to share your thoughts on fossil formation in the comments below. What do you find most fascinating about fossils? And if you enjoyed this journey into the world of fossils, be sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing science revelations. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on GeoVoices. My name is Ricardo Valls. I am a professional geologist registered in the province of Ontario, Canada, and also the president of Valls Geo Consultant. Geology, geochemistry, structural analysis, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, I am sure you will find something useful 
among my over 550 videos. I think these videos are brilliant and I'm sure you will like them too. Please like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell.